here with Yobo Gear. And I'm making this video today to answer a question that we've gotten quite a bit recently. And inquiring minds are wanting to know what is the difference between the Yobo Gear roll bag and the brick bag. So when you order a Cricut hammock stand or a Freedom hammock stand, you get an option at checkout to select either the roll bag or the brick bag. So I'm gonna take you through each bag and show you what they're all about and the differences between the two so you can make a good decision. So we'll start with the roll bag, which comes with three buckles on it. It's made of a heavy canvas material and it's got a nice thick strap here for the handle. I'm gonna roll this upside down so you can see the inside. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of material here. So the roll bag is pretty heavy. You've got a lot of material to roll up all the parts. You're also gonna notice that there are many, many pockets in here. You have eight pockets for every single leg and ridge piece of the Cricut stand. You have some extra pockets for the bend pieces. The hubs have their own pockets. You got pockets for carabiners, rubber feet, sand feet, and you have a lot of em empty pockets for extra tools or carabiners or cordage or anything you might want to put in there. You've also got some longer pockets on this side for your tarp extension poles. So that's what the inside of the roll bag like. My OCD customers say they absolutely love this bag because everything has a place. Once you roll it out, whether you're at the beach or at a campsite or wherever, you know where everything is, you can make a quick visual glance and make sure that it's all there. And same thing when you pack it up, you know you have everything, everything's in its place and it's ready to go. This top flap folds over just in case it gets tipped upside down to help keep you from losing any parts and pieces. And when it's time to roll it up, oops, I'm gonna start on this end. It rolls up like this. Now, if you wanted to, you could roll up your hammock and tarp in here too. Of course, that's gonna make the roll a lot thicker. That's a personal choice, depending on how you're wanting to pack it in your bag. But I'll just roll it up like this for today. Get the buckles in there. And there's that. Now, because of the thicker canvas material and the fact that there's so much of it, this bag is heavy. It will add a couple pounds to your setup. I think it comes in at just under two pounds. So be aware of that. It's about 22 inches long. The thickness, like I said, will vary. If you're putting the Freedom Stand two sides in here, it's gonna be a little less thick. It's the same exact bag for both. If you're using it for the Freedom Stand, the freedom stand, it just means that you have some extra longer pockets that you can use for stakes or whatever else you need. So that's the roll bag. I'm gonna put that aside and bring out the brick bag. So here's the brick bag. It is made of a really lightweight denier. It is ripstop and water resistant. So it is also durable. Both of these bags are durable but this one is just much, much lighter. This bag weighs 10 ounces. It's got an adjustable shoulder strap that unclips. And if you don't want this on here anymore, you can stick it in this zippered pocket in the back. It's also got two nice carrying handles. Um, this was made by the wonderful Adrian Roadman at Bjorn, Van Bjorn in Utah. She designed this bag and we absolutely love it. So when I open it up, it's a little different than the roll bag. You've got a tiny bag for all your accessories and then all of your poles and big pieces are in here with my favorite part, a little seat belt. So I know that when I use this seat belt, that when I go to open the bag again, everything is still right where I put it. It's not divided in all the different pockets like the roll bag, but it all stays put 
and in essentially the same spot when I use the seat belt. So in the seat belt, I've got my bend pieces, all eight poles for the legs and ridge pieces of the Cricut stand and the Cricut tarp extensions. In my little accessory bag, I have everything else. I've got extra Prosex, I've got my Cricut hubs, I've got all my indoor feet, my, whoop, my sand feet, and my carabiners, and there's room for more in here. Depending on the size of your hammock, you may be able to pack it up in the brick bag as well. If you have a giant hammock with a lot of material, that might be a tight fit, but you'll just have to see what works for you. The zippers are YKK zippers, highest quality you can get, and they are double zippers on this part, so you can open or close it either way. This bag is also 22 inches long, and it's five inches high and seven inches wide. It does compress a little bit around the poles, so when you're going to fit it in your backpack, it's not necessarily 22 by five by seven. It can be made smaller if you're making it to fit the poles. So that is the brick bag. Put it right here next to the roll bag so you can see both. And with our customers, I'd say it's about half and half. 50% end up choosing the roll bag, 50% end up choosing the brick bag. The choice is yours. If you happen to buy a hammock stand before we had the brick bag available, um, you automatically got the roll bag. And if you're thinking, hey, the brick bag looks like it might be a better fit for me, we do have it for sale on our website. So you can go ahead and order an extra brick bag and then you have both. So I hope this was helpful and happy hammocking.